indeed and i have a very special guest this evening yeshua alexander i'm super super excited and it's a pleasure right to here. have you here hey it's a pleasure to be here you know i'm just, oh, ha I'm just happy to be here <laughs> I'm just happy to be here. And you say Tori, right? That's how you Tori, Tori. Tori. My you real like name Tori. is Victoria. Okay. <laughs> so you like Tori. So they go, I like that Tori short. It's all right. It's all right. So oh, I'm not sure. I'm not sure what was going on there. All right, sorry about that. And okay. um we had the um the TV station up on uh in the background so sorry about that uh so i'm really excited to speak to you because you're so 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 diverse you're very versatile oh, not I genre like specific and um vibe to vibe is not a genre specific station tv channel network because of me and my taste i couldn't be just hip-hop i couldn't be just rap or edm or any of that but you are like the best combination you do edm pop hip-hop um country i don't know <laughs> country pop r&b <laughs> yep. and you're just you're pop. just you're just this big big combination of um all these genres so i'm really really excited i appreciate that i'm trying to you know i'm trying to bring a little something different to the game i've been you know, been a student of the game for so long you know, bring something different behind so everybody got you know, everybody always now you know you hear this saying like you know you gotta be just be a you gotta be a trap rapper you need to be just or you can't right. be, you can't sing and do that you gotta just be this why exactly people, why do i need to do this and do that what if i want to do this what if i you know so right right i'm just gonna give you that why but hey i'm gonna do what the hell i want and right I'm, so I'm what was your what was your 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 first genre where you kind of dived in when you first started doing music. First started doing music. Honestly, or was it still I, diverse? It, it was always diverse because I, I yeah. I'm, I'm an emotional rapper with with my whole rap for an artist. Most of the time, I'm artist. I'm emotional. So for my emotions, if I'm going through a break. Something that I had. I got to talk about something sad and feeling. You got to have a little R&B feel. Too, so I was figuring that to give that you want to give them you want people to feel everything you want so to get a good song you want to give people something that they can actually relate to something for, for one title and subjects and anything and then you want to give them something they can really feel so right you gotta pour your soul into it and let them feel it from all angles whether it's something they, they consider to be soft or hard to right. like so that's me and taking it back i would always then that versatile artist always so they would they would look at us in the past the people would look at I dealt with would look at it like oh you can't make a damn mind what you want to do <laughs> I just right. I just always okay I want to sing today I might want to rap tomorrow that's just, right that's the vibe and either way you can narrate your own story if you're already narrating and writing your own music and telling your own stories or stories that you may be aware of it's still something you use to express yourself or to tell what tell what you're narrating so i i think that's really amazing not a lot of people can switch it up or even com you know do a combination of everything yeah. um see like edm like a few years back i started hearing it in latin music and pop music the electronic little sounds you know being introduced to other genres so for yeah. you to be that hip-hop artist who does edm who does pop who does country pop and r b it's just like within your music although you're going to be dropping 11 albums yes <laughs> yes that's a and different I, I, I want to definitely um, pick your brain about that because I want to know okay. how you categorize each genre because I'm sure in each album you hear a mixture of something, whether it's a mm. little pop sound, whether it's the little, I'm, I'm doing my little turn, <laughs> my, tur oh, my yeah. knobs here. <laughs> exactly, exactly. But, so I'm just like really interested and looking forward to you dropping 11 albums and at the same time which a lot of artists are kind of criticized, right? For dropping more than one song at the same time. Mm -hmm. So I, I feel like you are definitely a, really a breath of fresh air. Like, 
someone who is daring and someone who is like, you know, no, I'm going to do 11 albums and I'm dropping them all at once. Yeah. So what gives you that courage, that ambition, that, that, I don't know, that strive to do it all at once at the same time? All right. Well, for, for, for starters, I want you to have all, like I said, this is why I put me all <laughs> you got to hear me somehow, some way. And my thing was, like I said, emotions. And if I might feel like an art, artist today. I might feel like a you know, hip-hop trap artist tomorrow. But I right. was to give you good in the back. Something soft, something off, something hard, off. But just give you that music that whichever angle you want to come from. With, you know, And I wanted to be that. And I heard music, I said, I love pop. I love me personally. I mean, all drummers, so I love it all. I love it all. I love it all. I love it all. Yes, well, right. I'm gonna be this multi talented artist without the two sides. So now I'll give you your 11 albums. Right. It's like, here you go. This is this. I'm putting myself on the front line. That to be judged, so judge. Want to judge? Right. Judge. So, right. I love it. I, yeah, I'm, I'm. Yeah, that's the daring part. Hey, here you go, judge. Me. So you, right. get, now you have to say that. So in the future, they can't say, well, oh, he just doing pop. Pop way back for that. So they can't right. say that to me. You know, cut right, all right. the loose ends. Let's cut the ties of everything. Let's give everything I got to show you. How talented I feel that I am, and like I said, the best way to hide the truth. Wow. And I and I feel like you're tapping into a wide audience, and you know, someone like myself, especially like I don't only listen to genre specific music. I listen to soul music. I listen to jazz. I love jazz. I listen to EDM, pop, hip hop, all of that. So for someone like myself, who's very um, diverse and has a diverse um, listening and ears and taste it's just like oh i'll vibe to all your albums you know uh, that's and, and what I I, like. you know what i mean and then there's people yeah. that are strictly you know into their certain genres and they vibe to that but even by doing that i feel like <sighs> what i picture in my head is like a web so you start off with all these genres and then it kind of like it spreads it's just so crazy. It's, in, it's insane i love it i like that you're gonna feel all this music that's coming out you're gonna feel Feel gonna be cool all the time. Right now, let's be honest. Some artists struggle to even put an album. Some artists struggle to even put singles out. For right, labels right. look at that and be like, they fight with artists. You know, we need the album. We need your album. We can't even come up with seven songs. But you know, I'm gonna give you ten songs per album. Maybe a little more depending on the album. I'm gonna give you everything. And I so feel so give you everything. So I when you mentioned 10 songs an album, you know, back in the day, people were used to having 10, 12 tracks on a, on a I was going to say a CD, but on yeah. an album, right? Mm -hmm. And now I've seen a lot of artists only have six, sometimes five, seven, you know, some odd numbers. And for you to dish out like 10 songs per al or more per album, it kind of brings me back to the time where you could get a whole like a real a real car ride like if you're doing road trips you know you have this yeah. this this music these albums that you can vibe to that are very like very diverse True. so is it challenging for you to well obviously i don't i don't think so but is no. it challenging for you to um write all the music or no i feel like yeah. you write more than what you put on the album so I, do you do you do like twenty songs and then narrow it down to ten, or? No, I that? actually, I actually, I I will. Usually, I would pick forty songs, and then I would pick them to them. out of every album. I would pick. So, so I would out of the more, but the songs that I pick, selected, I would pick. I think this is the most songs. Right, and, and um, if and in each genre, if you're sounding diverse, how do you choose for it to be on a specific genre? I, I actually go in the studio and say, to me, if you, if you, you know, I always say, if you can't be played on the radio, go in the club. Right? So for me, 
genres I look for when I say okay, this is going to be my project. This is going to be be this going to be you you know the sounds that you right that's based on the beat that you know, that's been selected. Obviously, I don't to be honest, I don't know what I'm going to do in the studio until I get in there, and it's just like I can just when I'm in the studio, it's just magic happens. Honestly, I just. I feel like it comes off, it just rolls off your tongue. Like everything's so off. natural it for really you. Did. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't see, I don't, I see authentic, you know, vibes talking to you. And I, I don't feel like it's a struggle for you at all. Um, so how old were you when you started getting into music? Were you like a young kid? Were you a teenager? Like where did your journey begin? When I first got into music was, uh, I say, well, seeing my, my father was he was a guitar player. This is something he passed. Oh, I'm sorry. He was he was a guitar player. Thank you. So understand my guitar. It's a different it's a different thing, right? Wonder that. I always tell people that nobody was born. That's the people. Right. That's it. That's that's the realest that's thing. Deep. That's deep. <laughs> moment, it's true. Only we were born. That's when we begin to die. You know, I saw my boss playing the church a little bit, and I think we put a little bit of that. I didn't even see him the time. It was in me, I think. And that wasn't something that I saw at my school. It was always at on the football team. I always had my put my on the football team back in Georgia, I always had, you know, on the bus, everybody, you know, beating on the seats while I'm rapping or singing along, making jokes. It was it was a fun time on those long trips we had in those country roads, those nights. And I kept everybody up. We all had laughter, good fun, good good times. You know, being on the bus, and they they used to remember that, and they used to call me Crow back then. It was funny, and uh, <laughs> that is super funny. Yeah. So Yeshua that's Alexander, that's your actual name. Yes, that's my real. Wow, name. Wow, that's a very powerful name. Mm. Very powerful. Definitely powerful. Definitely powerful. I know you're doing a little bit of everything besides the mixture and being versatile and having all these genres. And um, you're, you're pretty busy. You know, you have these yeah. uh, gold right. bottom signature shoes made in Italy. Yes, indeed. Yes, so indeed. tell you me guys. a little bit about these um, these shoes you designed. And the, um, the shoes, the Y, the Y signature shoe is uh, it's, it's, when they say shoes, some people get shoes mixed up with like, you know, shoes. And these are sneakers, like like the sneaker shoes. Too, like tennis shoes, like they're that style of there's like a retro Jordan and and um, retro Jordan. And, I don't know what it is, but it's the Chuck Taylor's. Pretty I, I like, I'm actually gonna, sh I'm gonna put it on the screen. Hold on, just okay. give me a second. Okay, I'm just gonna yeah. go on your website. I was looking at them and I feel like they're a really high quality, they're, they're shoe. high end, they're definitely um, high end. The price is there because you're gonna get this is genuine Italian leather, you're not gonna get it. Right. Got that. So, as soon as it come in, you think you smell it. You know you get in that brand new car. You smell the leather off. The oh, I love that smell. Yeah, I love a new. Right the, I love box. a new car scent. As soon as the and the box got magnet all over the box, so, so you know it's a real legitimate. This is that. It's, it would say it, it's all handmade too. All the shoes, by the way, are handmade. Every shoe is handmade. Wow. Handmade yeah, this is real. That is amazing. I'm going to actually pull up your website. And it ain't just one shoe. I got like different designs. Like I said, I got shoes for females. And that YA shoe, I am about to show now, the majority of the shoes, the shoe here is like a, it's a unisex shoe. You know? I, I would rock these. These are super dope. And I love, um, hold on. I'm going to see if I can turn this. You so can this go is down. Limited... Go, oh, here we go. Go down right here and click right there. Yes. It's see, I love, oh, those are stars. Yes, those are stars on them. Look at that navy blue star. It, it, it's, 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 it's that That's your signature? That's the signature. That's my signature. That's why they're nice. white. Nice. That's my Very logo. well packaged. I love these. Thank you. Thank you. Those are super cool. And that's just these one of many of the shoes that's coming. Right, right, right. That's, that's I think there. that's super cool. I appreciate it. And um, for you work, and then you have merch as well. Um, got the Hawaii besides, merch. Besides, yes, besides the back. shoe. That's coming up. That's coming right now as well. We got some working on the websites, getting all that together right now. And that's something that's really to that merch. 
wear something that feels good. You know? Right. It's like no, you want right. to feel I, like something. It's not, like, feel one good. thing, like one thing I'm not really cheap about or like two things are my glasses and my shoes. Yeah, I like that. You know? <laughs> so <laughs> I definitely like them a lot. Um, I, I definitely do. I think they're, um, I, obviously they are definitely high end and the quality, I like the little, I don't know if I want to call it like carbon fiber look. Um, the glasses? The, oh, they're glasses? Hold on. Wait, the, wait, are you talking about the shoes? Oh, you're talking about the yeah, shoes? Yeah, the shoes. Right? The shoes. Oh, yeah, yeah, yes, yeah. yes, 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 yes. Which, which part about them? Um, where, yeah, the, it looks, well, I'm sure they're not carbon fiber, obviously, but the carbon fiber look, carbon fiber the look, look. They have that look. Yeah, that yeah, I like, like that a lot. Yeah. Deep look, more or less, but yeah. They got okay, that. This, this, well, it, yeah, no, it's Susan Hendricks. Hendricks is right out of it. Wow. Back there, take it. Okay, I think that's dope and amazing. So, tell me a little bit about your background. Um, I feel like, do you speak other languages? Do you have um, music in other languages, or what? You have something of your sleeve? I don't know. I feel like there's something a little more to you that you're probably not discussing now. So I'm just curious. <laughs> yeah, you know what? I got I got to be honest to everybody out there. You know, listen, I speak honestly. I speak 20 different languages. Now let me stop playing with you. <laughs> I like your face. I'm teasing, I'm teasing, I'm teasing. I'm teasing. I had to think about, I have a cousin and a few uncles I'm that teasing. speak like seven languages. So I'm like 20. I'm like, yeah, I can know, only like, think of 10. <laughs> English only. That's it. Um, I'm, yeah, I was born here. I was born here. I just know my history, you know where I come from. Um, I was raised in Georgia, Lincoln County, Georgia. Small town outside of Augusta, Georgia. You know, um, and that's where they play the masses, you know. If anybody didn't, you know, that's where, all, you know, Tiger Woods, everybody go play masses. That's where everybody go for that. And, you know, like two, about an hour, two, about two hours, two, two, two and two and a half hours away from Atlanta itself. That This is that real country, you know. You still see your, your chickens in your backyard, your goats, cow. It's crazy, you know. But that's hometown. You know, I love this. That's, that's, that's home we always be. And right. going up there, and, you know, all, all we talk is like the football is everything. That was the thing that got you where you needed to go in life. That's what everybody looked forward to. I mean, they shut the entire town down just to go to a football game. So if you've seen Friday Night Lights, that's Lincoln County, Georgia. Oh, so. wow. So, I mean, did you ever get into sports at all? Any football for yourself? Although, like, you know, you're into music. Did you ever dive into yes. that? Played football, uh, got championships. Football for Lincoln County, we won our championships there. We went on to another school, went to college a little bit, played. Uh, you know, so I, when I got to college, that's when I decided to. Uh, this might not be the direction I want to go. The music came into play, and that's when I really took music serious. And then it came from, went on from there. And when I, got, when I became a student of the game, so like around 2002. Too, and I ran into Diddy, P. Diddy, them backstage, and that was another. That's another story in itself. But um, it, it became an inspiration seeing Diddy and Loon and Black Rob at that time back in 2002. So things changed from there. Oh wow! Oh yeah, 2002 was definitely a, a, a good was time, a time in music. That was a good time. Music, music was a good time. Diddy did. Diddy had it popping. Also, oh yeah, I, absolutely. Uh, I believe that. Also, I ran into Jay Z. Met him, shook his hand. It was like it's not a. Out of just seeing greatness, the biggest loser at that party. Right. The biggest Lewis being there. Um, uh, shout out to my man, um, uh, Cole for that. Man. that was a, he showed a lot of love. So, you you know, you've met a lot of people in the industry. And um, are we allowed to talk about some features? I know you got. Um... Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Oh, okay. Absolutely. <laughs> I wasn't sure, absolutely. you know. Um, I know you had the, the feature with um, Little Uzi Vert. Um, yes. My time, is it? My time coming. Uzi, My time. And this, this is crazy because I told people this was crazy because I did meet Uzi. Actually, Uzi did this record. Well, Uzi was out here, him and DJ Drama at the time, and they came. And uh, shout out to my people out in LA. You know, shout out to Big U. Uh, and I don't know if you guys know Big U. Shout out to Aunt Big U, man. He's, he's love. Shout out to Big U. 
like he put his people together. They had everybody. They linked up and made this uh, made some of this stuff happen. So when they got out here with his people, he had his people out here. So we all linked up and made some stuff happen. So we in the same circle. Um, but um, Uzi came and he was there, and we linked up and talked a little bit. He said, "Yo, I'm gonna come to the studio." So he came to the studio. We made some stuff happen. And this was 2015 when he did his verse, and that was like that time. And I said, oh, "Man, so." 16 when he came, I got in a bad car accident. So I had to sit back. So three years I was sitting on that record. Just as, you know, some records are timeless. And Uzi is a talented, crazy, great artist, you know. So, and he and he was the young Uzi with that young, you know, that hungry. That was the hungry Uzi. So when you hear this record, you're going to see that was the hungry Uzi. And he, he came with the fire. He brought fire to that. So years later... Uh, Amara Freeman, great producer out of Boston, and then Tommy Stoner out of Atlanta. And I, you know, shout out to Amir, you know, Shaka Zulu, Shaka, you know, with Ludacris, that's Shaka's son. So they, they linked that up and made that happen. So shout out to that team. And we, and Amir, Tommy, when he heard it, he was like, yo, let's get this going. And we got on it, put Uzi vocals back on the right stuff, and it was uphill from there. So the record came out crazy. And so it's a beautiful. Wow, that's definitely um, an experience. And I love the fact that you mentioned the time frame, 2015, Lil Uzi, when he was really hungry, he was starving. So you could feel like, oh, like, yeah, like his, you could see his true talent, you could hear his true talent. And it's just like, you know, um, they say, um, once the artist kind of makes it to a certain level, and their life changes, you know, their music changes too. That sure. only if they're telling their own story. You know, that's true. Um, like Eminem, like his story, his music changed throughout the years. When he was hungry, his, the hungry Eminem was crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, exactly. So it's just like it's so humbling, like just to hear it that way and to know, like, you know, people did start somewhere, and like that's you true. caught that vibe with him, and I, I feel like you have a lot um, coming up, and it's huge. It's like eleven albums. You have your. Uh, gold line signature bottom shoes you have um you know these features oh, I, and these experiences and it's just like you're so humble about it and you're so open about just sharing everything and i just feel like nothing but excitement and i'm, I'm just like yo i want to know what's next there's a lot of stuff i've got art, a few artists i'm working with you know shout out to my cousin the project baby he's working with him he's getting his stuff ready uh we got the franchise he was working he's in the studio working and we got another artist annie hardigan She's a pop singer, real nice pop singer coming up. Uh, she's out of Maine. The project, first of all, the project baby from Georgia. Uh, fran the franchise, he's out of Boston. Annie Hardigan is out of Maine. She's she's a good, like I said, she's very good. She's working on her stuff. We got another artist we're working with, uh, Big M's. She's like she's gonna bring you back to that little Kim, that 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 uh, that Foxy Brown. She's got her style, but she you know she's going she's getting her stuff together as well. But these she got some she, her song is out right now. All these artists I've mentioned got something out, but you'll hear more about them later on down the road. So I've been working with a lot of people. So I'm and, I, and like I said, I'm open to work with more people. Like I said, right. I collab with everybody. I like I want to do stuff with Justin Bieber, I want to work with Taylor Swift, I want to work with all people in the series. I'm just I'm saying from the pop side, you know, back to the from country all the way from R and B. All the way I was gonna say, what about country? Like you're oh, mentioning yeah. Biebs and all. These oh, dope, yeah. um, amazing wanna diverse artists as well. But um, yeah. how about country pop? Definitely want to work with people in there. I want to, because I'm a writer and I write all my music, all my music. So I want to be able to write for other artists that in those fields and just give them something, you know, I feel that's going to be beneficial to them. And I think that's definitely going to give them that hit. So right. that's well met with that. So it's a lot, definitely a lot coming. Definitely a lot. Right. So um, you're definitely. Um, I'm sure you're definitely a songwriter with all the music that you have on deck or even, you know, stored on a, a bookcase or I don't know what you want to say. <laughs> but um, I don't know. What are some tips you would give to a songwriter, to an artist, to a musician? Like, what are some things that you would have given yourself advice earlier if you would have known it? Or, you know, I don't know. What, what kind of gems would you drop? I would always say be true to yourself right from your heart. Don't, I mean, sometimes people are going to give you something. Don't be blindsided by your own vision because you yourself, this is you putting yourself on a display so everybody can judge you. 
who you are. So make sure you're writing something that fits you and it's going to be you because you're representing you. At the end of the day, no matter what happens, you know, there's a lot of people can be behind the scene writing for you. And when you put it out there, you're going to be the one who's being judged and crucified for it. I don't mean to put it that way, but that's just how it is. In this right. Oh, yeah, so, absolutely. Uh, write from your heart. And when you're writing, just let it, just let it go. Let it go back right. and check. If you don't get it right now at the moment, go back and Go back to it, but I put just touch it up. Yeah, just touch it up. I put hours into writing, and it became honestly, it became like Rain Man to me. You know how Rain Man is with his numbers. So writing to me is like Rain Man. Honestly, I'm I'm literally I probably see uh, letters and everything's falling out the sky like I'm in the Matrix, and I'm serious. I'm, I could just pick if I could just take it and pick it and put it in the sentence I could like that. That's how I'm serious. It's crazy. It might seem crazy to you, but that's honestly when I'm hearing the beat, that's what I get. Definitely. It's crazy. <laughs> but I well, love thank it. you for sharing that. Thank yeah. you so much. You know, a lot of artists, they're just trying to fit in or put out what works for someone else. And that not, that's not it. You know, um, be yourself. I absolutely yes. agree with you with everything you're saying. And I really, um, I don't know, I feel like you're just so humble with everything and I actually appreciate that right. on many levels. You know, I don't feel no stuck up vibes or some. Like I have like respect for you and right. I look forward to what's next for you. And it's just um I feel nothing but authentic. I authentic, that. authentic, authentic. And it's just like, right. all right, I'm gonna I'm gonna keep track of you now. <laughs> oh, oh, stay with me, stay with me. And make sure oh, you absolutely. talk Bali, listen, make sure you talk to Wally some of them shoes too because i like that I like i said the shoes are unisex so i definitely like to get you a pair of those uh, uh, as soon as possible so talk to all so i can get your information or you know follow me on the gram hit me up with your information i just need your your address where you want me to send the shoes to you and your full name and i'll get that to you you have nothing else to worry about all, oh all thank you i love them i think they're really really dope and they're designed um i don't know they're just designed with obviously the high end and i just love that's the stars Luxury. It's luxury. The luxury, yeah, like yeah. And I'm not like the thing is like I believe in a good quality shoe, good quality, 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 quality. <laughs> quality, yes, God, I like that. Leather. Yeah, I'm like I quality. Quali I, I got tongue twisted. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, good, we have yeah. people in the chat room saying hello to you, and they're really mm. impressed. Um, oh, I appreciate that. Yo, thank I you see, guys for watching. Thank you. All for I see. In wow. <laughs> I'm gonna put your um, website in the chat room as well. Yeah. Follow um, me on Instagram too. Let them know. Follow me on the gram because they're gonna. Oh yeah, absolutely. Set up on that. And that's it, right? there. you can look at that. Right? And um, right, right. Gonna, you're definitely gonna make some stuff happen. So. Oh, you, absolutely. Stay tuned. No, I appreciate that. You know what? I try to stay humble. See, a lot of people don't, also don't know that uh, Uzi was also go back to Uzi. He was on. He was the first one to actually rock my clothes. He was rocking them on stage. I'll be posting those pictures on the gram. He was in my hat, rocking the white hats. Um, you know, like um. He's rocking white hats and um, they're rocking a shirt and um, what else he had on? No, he had the hat and the shirt. Let me see the hat for a second. Yeah, like some style like this. So when people see the white hats, you know, that's what Uzi had on. And they thought it was Uzi's wardrobe. And he was in front of 40,000 people out there with him and DJ Drama. So this is one of the hat styles and it's like snapbacks. So people can adjust to it. But yeah, Uzi was rocking all that. So and I was that was I'm gonna, I'm gonna post those pictures up with him wearing all the clothes. Sure. That's dope. That's yeah, super was, super dope. Yeah, and it's just like um you know a lot of designers, a lot of people you know they always give local artists you know some merch, and it's just like I the way of saying like I support you like your vibe and I want you you know you're not just gonna give anyone your merch that you invested your own money to. Oh no. So yep. you absolutely saw something in him as well. Um, I saw greatness. He, he said it to me too. He said, "Bro, you, you." He said, "Bro, you." He said, "Bro, you." you sit down, had a conversation. And I remember. He said, "Bro, you, you gonna be." He said, "Yo, bro, you got it, bro. You, you something. You something special." And I saw him. I saw it, and I said, "Well, this is different," because his style was so different. When you heard Uzi, it was like, "I'm like, what the hell?" I was like, "Yo, I'm looking around. I said, what the hell he said?" You know, like this because when he was in the booth, because I didn't understand that style at first. And I'm like, wait a minute, wait a minute, though. I'm like, hold on, hold on, though. This might be something, this something different. And he come, so I believe Uzi, he started that whole trend of that 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 different style of rap. Right. The way he came in, he brought that in. And then, uh, yeah, music evolves, and 
it involved. It, he involved. It, he it came takes with dope people. Himself. Yeah, dope people That's to it. make a late a change. You know, just same way EDM started. You started hearing it in Latin music and pop music and rap music. You start hearing the electronics and all that, and it's the same way. Like, it evolves. It evolves. It definitely. You got to be a fan of the music. You know? and, uh, yes. The thing I want people to know is something that just happened. Um, a lot of people don't know. You know what Yeshua stands for, right? Do you know what it stands for? For your name? Yes, Yeshua stands. Um, no, but I was actually in the middle of looking it up before when I was saying, "Is that your I name?" I like that. No problem. <laughs> Let me, no problem. See, a lot of people don't understand. They see yes, the Y A logo. They see my hat. They see that symbol, and they see the Y. They see the Y and the A. This, yes, it says Yeshua Alexander, but it also says Ooh. Yeshua. Yeshua is Jesus. Yes. Right? Okay. Correct. Correct. And a in the A stands for always, so it's really saying Jesus always, or your God always. This is really it doesn't matter what God, whoever you represent, whoever you correct. Do, it says the higher power always. That's what this. Means. So. Well, your name also um, is a coming form of alternative. <laughs> what does it say? Hold on. It's, it's uh, a common Jesus. alternative form of name. Yep. It was Jesus' name given. That was Jesus' name, and when he was given given to him by birth, before they changed it to Jesus. And you know what? Shame on me, because I was I was looking because you're oh. so um, you're so dope. So I was looking I was looking into it deeper than what it really was, because I yeah. did know that. You but sure, I, I yeah. thought there was like some sort of deeper meaning behind it. Um, but that's just the way my brain works sometimes. Oh, it's, it's cool. <laughs> and logo, if people see the logo, they be like, "Oh, so that's what I told them about." It. They're like, "Yo, that's." That's so creative. Yeah, that's yeah, not so have creative. The oh yeah. On both sides. I have to get I get it on the left, I gotta get it if I get it on the left, I gotta get it on the right. No matter what I Oh my I, gosh, you're so amazing. Yeah, I gotta have that. There were images. It's like you're so unique. Yin and yang. You're yeah, so I gotta have yeah. It. Yes, yin and yang. I like that. Yeah. I definitely I definitely like that. Okay. Balance. I need balance. I love balance, you know. Oh yeah, definitely. Um I, I I'm sure you found balance in between all the genres, yes. in between all the designing and everything. I feel like you're very well balanced. I don't feel like you're not aligned. Um, balance is, is key, right? Without yes. balance, you just drive yourself crazy, especially as a creator. Like, we're crazy. Cre we're crazy. As creators, we're insane. We're you know? insane. <laughs> you I say it proudly. So. <laughs> you know, it, it, that's because I know I'm crazy. <laughs> no, genius, that's what genius is. It, it's borderline sanity and genius. Between genius and sanity, it's a borderline. It's a difference between that. It's like, you know, you like it's, it's, it's genius. But that's that's deep. That's deep. You said that. That's deep. Right. Well, thank you so much for your time, for the vibe. I'm sure I could talk to you forever. Oh, we can go um, through. You know, <laughs> like I, I do said, wanna... don't forget. Follow up with everything and see after you drop the 11 albums or when you're right about to drop it. Anything you need me to promote and share, I definitely will. Just, I appreciate um, it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to follow you I appreciate on that. all social media I platforms. I, I, well, I appreciate that for real. I definitely appreciate that love. And uh, don't forget to send me the, uh, the, the information so I can get those shoes to Oh, thank you so much. Yeah, absolutely. And, and, and thanks for anybody that's watching out there. I appreciate you watching. Oh yeah, we had people in the chat room asking for your site, so I'm gonna drop all the information. Okay. Um, the Instagram was already up there, but I'm gonna I'm gonna drop everything. We had people saying hello, hello, dope, okay, super cool. It. So appreciate. thank you, thank you. You're getting Tell great me. feedback. <laughs> I love that. Follow me because it's gonna be a it's, it's an experience. We're gonna have a good time. And follow me, don't I'll stalk talk. me. <laughs> yeah, follow me, don't stop. It's a humble. That's what it can be. A humble. If you're gonna have a humble experience. You, you get to grow with, with what's about to happen, I think, because a lot of stuff going on. And um, we got definitely a lot, lot lined up. And I want everybody to have – I want you to enjoy the music that's coming. That's why, to answer your question back about six to seven songs, and I'm putting ten on there, giving you more than – I want to. I want you to get more more than you put in. I want you to get more for your money. Because, you know, some people get that and they put – and I'm telling you, you're, you're not going to get one or two good songs. And it'd be like, oh, this is terrible. No, I put my all into every record. It, it, this ain't just album fillers. You gonna get? I'm giving you something concrete every time because I. Right. I You're so play. passionate, even when you speak about your music. Oh yeah. <laughs> and, <laughs> Got um, it. 
I love the fact that you brought up album fillers. Not a lot of people talk about it or filler yeah. words. You know, when you listen to a music, you just hear a lot of filler words and yeah. not so, you know, you're a whole different vibe. Yeah, oh my gosh. Sorry, sorry. I appreciate, you know, I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Really thank you so much for your time. And right. I look forward to everything you're working on. All right, thank you. And thank you for everybody that's watching. Appreciate it.